The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Hey guys, in this video, I shall be covering the complete fee structure of AFMC for four and a half year of MBBS course, which will include tuition fee, hostel rent, mesh charges, and other miscellaneous charges. In short, I will tell you how much money is spent on MBBS during four and a half years during four and a half years. Okay. In the later part of this video, I will also compare the total expense of MBBS at AFMC and the total expense at AIMS. Okay. So, a question is that how is the fee structure of AFMC different from other colleges? So, let me explain this to you. So, what happens at other college is that a student gives some money to the college in form of tuition fee and gives some money to the mess of the college in form of mess bill. But in return, the student doesn't get any form of money okay, from college or either, either college or mess. So the flow of money in other colleges is unidirectional. But at AFMC, the things are different. So a student of AFMC gives some money to college and the college also gives some mon amount of money in form of allowances to its student. Okay, So the college also returns some amount of money in form of allowances. So the flow of money at AFMC is bi-directional. The student also gives some amount of money and college also returns it. But in other colleges, it is unidirectional. The bidirectional flow of money makes the fee structure of AFMC a little complex. Okay, but I will try to simplify the fee structure in this video. Let's begin. So when you come to the college at the time of admission, you are asked to submit a admission fees of 83,030 rupees. The admission fees has five components. That is college fees and deposit, allied charges, cadet miss charges, university fees and AFMC cadets group insurance scheme premium. So first question is that what is the 83,030 rupees which admission fees is taken every year? So the simple answer to it is no, this is one time admission fees and you will have to pay it once only. And let me explain that the major part of 83,030 rupees is refundable either in the form of money or you get your basic necessity goods in it. Okay, the college gives you uniform and many things under it okay so first i will explain college fees and deposit that is of 25000 rupees the first component is college fees and deposit so a total cost of college fees and deposit is 25000 rupees as you can see so out of which 16000 that is more than half part of it is refundable so i have uh, circled it in green so 16000 out of 25000 is refundable so we have seen the first part and there are many charges in it that is admission fee and you can see it take the screenshot and you can also see the whole charges so out of 25000 16000 is refundable so now come to the next part so the next charge of the admission fees allied charges so allied charges constitute 42000 of 83000 so what is allied charges so it is the charge which call tax from you and then they return it it in the form of goods that is college uniform charges they provide you with six pairs of uniform blazer aprons shoes and many more things which you can see in the list they also provide you with linen and curtains blanket bed covered bed sheets pillow and everything which you can see in it they also provide you with a cycle worth 8000 to our batch they also provided a samsung galaxy tab so those 42500 are charged for those goods okay those things which are of basic necessities so the college returns the allied charge in the form of college uniform and many other things which are which is provided in the list so i've covered the second component now let's cover the third component third component is cadet mess deposits and charges so we give 7200 which is charged out of which 3500 is refundable you can see i have circled it green again so 3500 out of 7200 is refundable again okay so i have covered the three charges and this is university fees which is 2830 rupees you can see it 2830 rupees which is non-refundable okay and each year you have to pay university fees and the fifth one is insurance okay that is also non-refundable so let me calculate the effective price okay effective price 
इफेक्टिव एडमिशन प्राइस सो एज यू हैव सीन आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड अ मेजर पार्ट सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड इज रिफंडेबल सो इफेक्टिवली यू आर पेइंग नाइन थाउजेंड ओनली और आई चार्जेस आई वॉन्ट हाउन बिकॉज यू नो दे आर रिटर्न यू इट इन फॉर्म ऑफ योर यूनिफॉर्म इन एवरी थिंग विच आई विच यू सॉ इन दैट लिस्ट कैडेट मेस चार्जेस आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड दे हैव टेकन दे हैव आर रिफंडेबल थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड सो इफेक्टिवली you are paying 3700 only so university fee they, that is non refundable and you have to pay each year fmc cadets insurance scheme premium is also non refundable so you are paying an effective price at the time of admission so you are paying 2830 5500 okay so at the time of admission you are paying an effective price of 221030 rupees if you calculate Okay, so let me explain it to you again. Out of twenty-five thousand, sixteen thousand is refundable. So effective price comes out to be nine thousand. Forty-two thousand five hundred is returned to you in the form of uniform, your bed, your shoes, and your bicycle. Okay, and our batch also got a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Cadet mess charges out of seventy-two hundred, thirty-five hundred is returned. University fees is not returned and it is included. And AFMC. insurance is also not refundable so you are effectively paying a money of a sum of 23000 21030 rupees okay so i think you have understood it so this is what you have to pay at the time of admission and the, the effective cost is 21030 rupees only and the rest of the part either you get at the time of leaving fmc and you get it in the form of goods so apart from your admission fees you also need to pay the half yearly fees monthly mess charges and university fees half yearly fees jo ye hai this is half yearly fees received half yearly fees need to be paid two times in a year the first jo hai wo january to june 2021 jo ki jiska ye receipt hai and july to december so from january to june you need to pay 15000 1550 rupees and from second one is from july to december इसका फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज यू टू पे सो ड्यूरिंग योर योर एम बी पी एस यू नीड टू पे दिस दिस रिसिप्ट थ्री टाइम्स एंड दिस रिसिप्ट थ्री टाइम्स ओके इन योर सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ईयर रिस्पेक्टिवली सो दिस रिसिप्ट इज ऑफ फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड दिस इज ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज सो ओके सो वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई इट यू पे हाफ ईयरली चार्जेस एट सम ऑफ सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज सो मूविंग मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट फीस दैट इज मंथली मेस चार्जेस ओके सो मंथली मेस चार्जेस विच हैव रिटर्न हेयर मेस वर्कर चार्जेज वॉशर मैन चार्जेज एंड हेयर कटिंग ए टोटल ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज सो आउट ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज इज गिवन बैक टू द कैडेट्स ओके इन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वॉशिंग एंड हेयर कटिंग अलाउंस सो आफ्टर सो आफ्टर अलाउंस मंथली चार्जेज इज एट हंड्रेड रुपीज पर मंथ ओके so which comes out to be 800 rupees per month so when i multiplied it with 54 months into 800 rupees 54 months is during the whole mbbs okay mbbs is a four and a half years so it comes out to be 43200 rupees so you have to pay 43200 rupees to the college for your food washer man charges hair cutting and everything okay and the third is the university fees so first year university fees you have already paid in the admission fees so from second year onwards you need to pay 3000 each year okay which comes out to be 9000 rupees for the full mbbs so now moving on to the whole expense of four and a half years okay total expense of four and a half years of mbbs the first category is admission fee which i have explained to you in detail effectively it comes out to be 21030 rupees which i will add in total half yearly charges 16650 rupees monthly mess charges of 43200 rupees university fee 9000 rupees okay so during the four, whole mbbs course you need to pay 89880 rupees so this is the total expense of four and a half for four and a half year mbbs course okay this is the total expense so we have already discussed about different expenses at fmc 
now we will discuss different allowances provided by the college so a college provides allowance in first year second year third year and fourth year so a student of first year gets a total of 11000 rupees in its first year as allowance which includes uniform allowance of 6000 rupees book allowance of 4000 rupees and a stationery allowance of 1000 rupees second third and fourth year student get a uniform maintenance allowance of 1250 rupees book allowance of 4000 rupees and a stationery allowance of 1000 rupees per year so total they get 6250 6250 rupees per year in their second year third year and fourth year so the total allowance that is 11000 rupees in first year and 6250 rupees for the next 3 years which comes out to be 29750 rupees so when we calculate net expense of of a cadet that comes out to be total expense minus total allowance the total expense which we calculated that is 89880 rupees and the total allowance 29750 rupees so it comes out to be 60130 rupees so the total expense of mbbs at afmc is around 60000 rupees and in turn at afmc earns around 90000 per month so you will be paying 60000 rupees for for and a half years and you will be earning 90000 rupees in a month so it's good also an important point to note that afmc doesn't charge any tuition fee and hostel fees as you can see in this tuition fee as you can see it is nil and hostel rent is also nil okay and the food is also very highly subsidized at afmc So now coming to the comparison of expenses at AFMC and AIMS for MBBS course. So now coming here to the comparison. So fees for four and a half year course of MBBS at AIMS is around fifty eight hundred rupees, out of which fifteen hundred is refundable. Miss charges at AIMS is around thirty five hundred rupees. It varies from AIMS to AIMS. And if you multiply thirty five hundred to 54 that is 54 months for and half years it comes out to be 189000 rupees okay and the total expense is 5800 is the total fees out of which 1500 is refundable so i have subtracted it which comes out to be 4300 4300 plus 189000 which comes out to be 193000 and there may be some exam fees also so the cost of mbbs course at aims is Around one lakh ninety three thousand rupees, and at that of FMC is sixty thousand one thirty rupees. Okay, so as you can see that the the expenses at AMC is almost thrice the that of AFMC. Since this video is almost over, I wanted to make this video because most of the people I met were not having correct knowledge about the fee structure, and they thought they will have to pay eighty three thousand rupees every year. hope i have simplified the fees structure all the best and may god bless you thank you